Alright everybody, welcome to these games. Um today we're gonna be looking at Star Wars Battlefront 2. We're gonna be looking at its user interface, game modes, graphics, and gameplay. Starting out with the user interface, it uses footage from all Star Wars movies from episode one through six. You kinda got a feeling of what you're about to get into by just looking at the cover. Good versus evil and all out warfare. Now let's take a look at the game modes. We have training. Space Overview, Rise of the Empire, Galactic Conquest, and Instant Action. You start off with training, which puts you in a short mission where you learn how to capture command posts, learn each clone's different strengths and weaknesses, and how they're used in battle. During this training, you get to play as the Hero Class, aka Jedi, just to get your feet wet on the service of what the game has to offer. Next is Space Training which shows you a video tutorial on the ins and outs of space combat. I will admit, as a kid, space combat was some of the most intense gameplay I experienced at the time, with ships dogfighting in space, quick space maneuvering, and sabotaging the enemy ship to gain the advantage in battle. I mean, it was a lot to do, but my favorite thing was just getting a transport ship, getting some of my troops, and going to the enemy hangar, and just sabotaging their fuel rods, their um, shield generators, and just a quick way to victory. Which brings me to the Rise of the Empire, where you're put into the shoes of one of the clones of the 501st, where you will be taking part in some of the biggest battles in Star Wars history, from Kashyyyk, Utapau, the Tatan IV, and the Notorious Order 66, with narration by Tamara Morrison, face and voice of the clones. One thing I liked about this game mode was instead of pre-rendered cutscenes and in-game assets were used to tell the story before you started each mission. Now moving to Galactic Conquest, which is set up like a board game where you can pick which era of Star Wars you would like to take part of. You can be the Rebels versus the Separatists, Empire versus the Rebels, or vice versa. You can pick which planet you would like to start on where you and the computer will take turns moving fleets to take control over planets. Space battles can take place when two ships try to occupy the same planet. There are also perks and bonuses that can be bought, such as troop reinforcement, vehicle sabotage, health boosts, weapon malfunctions, and leaders in the form of Jedi or Sith to help tip the battle in your favor. Only when all planets are under your control will there be a winner. Instant action allows you to pick maps or space locations to add to a playlist of game modes to play either solo or split screen. With modes like Assault, aka Hero vs. Villains, Capture the Flag, Hunt, Space Battles, and Normal Assault. Now for this game to be 17 years old, the graphics may be dated with the game being made for the PlayStation 2 and original Xbox. Character models resemble their real life counterparts, also having their respective voices we know from the movies with a little bit of tweaking done. But overall, the graphics are decent. Now with this game being from 2005, servers and multiplayer are clearly down. But if you have a PC, you're in luck. Servers are up with an addition to be able to add mods so you can play as Rey, Kylo, add alternate skins for characters. I know PC players enjoying themselves. Gameplay. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is a third person shooter with easy to pick up controls. A game you can easily lose yourself in, especially if you're a big Star Wars fan already. With a great campaign, insane game modes, a ton of replay value, I would recommend this game to anyone in arm's reach. I still give Star Wars Battlefront 2 a 9 out of 10. Also, if you would like to get this game a try, it's available on Xbox Series S and X, and there are rumors of it coming to the PlayStation 5, so fingers crossed on it. If you made it to this point of the video, hit the like button, and if this is your type of content, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, you've been in these game zone.